Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. Now I am starting the problems on marginal costing. The last video I have given the complete explanation of marginal costing. I have started the new subject managerial accounting. The first topic I have taken up marginal costing. So last video I have explained you in detail regarding the meaning of marginal costing, break even analysis, CVP analysis differences between marginal costing and absorption costing and what are the different types of cost all the theory I have explained in the previous video hope my regular viewers already have watched that video because without understanding the concept you cannot you should not come to the problem if you want complete hundred percent knowledge not just to pass the examination but to increase your worth increase your knowledge confidence you must watch the theory video first now I'm going to start the problems if you have not watched again I'm saying go to the playlist of my channel you will find the subject their managerial accounting in that subject you select the first topic uh, marginal costing watch the video then we'll start the problem so if you are first time watching my channel if you are first time on my channel I suggest you again go to the playlist select I've uploaded so many subjects videos cost accounting, advanced accounting, financial accounting, income tax, business statistics, uh, financial management, investment management, so many videos I have uploaded. Select your concern subject, watch, uh, select your topic, watch the video, increase your knowledge, command on the subject. Now, before starting the problems on marginal costing, <clears throat> I expect my viewers to have a printout the printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So go to the link, take a printout and keep it ready. Without this problem, you cannot be able to understand the solution. Now I am starting the first problem. First problem on marginal costing. Find the amount of variable cost from the following information. So we have to find out the amount of variable cost. Information given in the problem sales 285,000, fixed cost 50,000, and profit is 60,000. So we are given sales, fixed cost, and profit, and we need variable cost. Formulas already I have given you in the video, in the theory video. In theory introduction part, I have explained you what are the formulas that are available in marginal costing. The very first formula is marginal costing equation. Now, see the solution here. Problems on marginal costing. First, variable cost, we have to find out. So, S stands for sales. F stands for fixed cost. P stands for profit. So, sales are given 285,000, fixed cost 50,000, profit 60,000. Now, we apply the first equation, marginal costing equation. The equation says S minus V is equal to F plus P. S minus V is equal to F plus P. I have already explained in the theory. So S stands for sales. Sales are given to like 85,000. V stands for variable cost. We don't have. We have to find out. F stands for fixed cost. 50,000 given. P stands for profit. 60,000 given. Now 2 lakh 85,000 minus V is equal to 50 plus 60, 1 lakh 10,000. Now simply take this 1 lakh 10,000 to LHS and bring the V to RHS. So this 1 lakh 10,000 will become minus 1 lakh 10,000. Here minus V, if you take it to RHS, it will become plus V. Minus V will become plus V. This plus 1 lakh 10,000 will become minus 1 lakh so 2 lakh 85,000 minus 1 lakh 10,000, 1 lakh 75,000 is equal to V. So what is V? Variable cost. The so final answer we got variable cost is 1 lakh 75,000. That's first problem completed. Second problem. Determine the fixed component in the semi-variable cost. Remember, semi-variable cost consists of partly fixed, partly variable. In semi-variable, we will have both fixed as well as variable so in this problem we have to find out the fixed component in the semi variable cost of Mrs. model house limited semi fixed cost on producing 5000 units is 24,000 rupees for making 5000 units the semi variable cost are 24,000 units 24,000 rupees semi variable expenses on producing additional 1000 units is rupees 1800 
एडिशनली 1000 यूनिट्स अगर बनाएंगे तो एक्स्ट्रो सेमी वेरिएबल एक्सपेंसेस 1800 तो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द फिक्स्ड कंपोनेंट इन द सेमी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सो हियर फाइंडिंग द फिक्स्ड कंपोनेंट इन सेमी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूनिट्स एंड सेमी वेरिएबल एक्सपेंसेस गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम फॉर मेकिंग 5000 यूनिट्स द सेमी वेरिएबल एक्सपेंस ऑफ 24000 गिवन for making additional 1000 units that means already we have prepared we are making 5000 units additional 1000 means it will become 6000 5000 units may additionally 1000 means 6000 to additional rupees kitna ho raha hai it is given additional cost is 1800 rupees to increase the cost by 1800 to 24000 plus 1800 25800 Simply, when we make five thousand units, the semi-variable expense are twenty-four thousand. When we make six thousand units, the semi-variable cost will become twenty-five thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight hundred rupees increase kar do, or one thousand units increase kar. So we have two levels and two semi-variable expenses. Now remember one point: the variable expenses will change. The fixed cost always remains same. in the previous theory introduction i have explained you the nature of fixed cost is the fixed cost will remain same whether we make 5000 units or we make 6000 units whatever is the change in output the fixed cost will remain same so whatever change in cost is occurring that change in cost is variable cost to yahan par jo output change hua hai 5000 se 6000 jab output change hua तो फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट नहीं चेंज होता नो चेंज इन फिक्स्ड कॉस्ट द वेरिएबल कॉस्ट विल चेंज तो व्हाट एवर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट चेंज नॉट फिक्स कॉस्ट तो वेरिएबल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट फॉर्मुला चेंज इन कॉस्ट डिवाइडेड बाई चेंज इन आउटपुट change in cost divided by change in output change in cost how much cost change from 24000 to 25800 to 1800 rupees changed divided by change in output output change from 5000 to 6000 1000 to denominator 1000 to 1800 divided by 1000 you will get 1 rupee 80 paisa 1.80 what is this 1.80 variable cost per unit so how to find out variable cost per unit change in cost divided by change in output change in cost is 1800 rupees and change in output is 1000 units so 1800 by 1000 1 rupee 80 paisa is the variable cost per unit but ultimately what we have to find out fixed component now easily we can find out fixed component semi fixed cost we can call it as semi fixed cost or we can call it as semi variable cost both means same chahe to semi fixed cost kahiye ya semi variable cost kahiye dono ka matlab ek hi hota hai to semi fixed cost in making 5000 units for making 5000 units what is the semi fixed cost here 24000 i am writing 24000 from semi fixed cost i am subtracting variable cost because semi variable consists of fixed As well as variable, जो semi fixed cost है था, उसमें fixed cost भी है था, variable cost भी है था। तो मैं variable को निकाल दूँ। I'll detect the variable cost. तो variable cost 5000 units into 1 rupee 80 paisa per unit we got it here. तो 5000 into 1.8 9000. So in this 24000 rupees of semi fixed cost, 9000 rupees are variable cost. 9000 rupees are Variable cost subtract nine thousand. So twenty four thousand minus nine thousand, fifteen thousand is the fixed cost. Now we have we have completed the solution. It is asking you what is the fixed component in the semi variable cost. So in this semi variable cost, the fixed component is fifteen thousand. Therefore, fixed component in semi variable cost is fifteen thousand. That's it. Now third one. A plant produces a product in the quantity of ten thousand units at a cost of three rupees per unit. 
when it is producing 10,000 units, the cost per unit is 3 rupees per unit. So total cost is 10,000 into 3, 30,000. In other words, we can say for making 10,000 units, the total cost is 30,000 rupees. Now, if 20,000 units are produced, the cost per unit is 2.50. जब 10,000 यूनिट बना रहे हैं तो एक यूनिट का कॉस्ट 3 रुपीस। When we make 20,000 units, the cost per unit is 2 रुपी 50 पैसा। What is the variable cost per unit? Exactly similar to the previous one. Units. When we make 10,000 units, the cost per unit is 3 रुपीस। तो 10,000 into 3, 30,000. When we make 20,000 units the cost per unit is 2.50, 2 rupee 50 paisa. So 20,000 into 2.5, 50,000. So simply, when we make 10,000 units, the total cost 30,000. When we make 20,000 units, the total cost 50,000. Now same formula I am applying, variable cost per unit is equal to change in cost by change in output. Change in cost, 30,000 to 50,000. How much is the increase? 20,000. So 20,000 I have taken. Numerator. Change in cost 20,000. Divide by change in output. Output changed from 10,000 units to 20,000. How much increased? 10,000. So here 10,000. So 20,000 divided by 10,000 will get 2 rupees. What is this 2 rupees? Variable cost per unit. We got the answer. Variable cost per unit is 2 rupees. Now, it is not asking in the problem, but we calculate for our practice. How much is the fixed component? Variable cost per unit we got 2 rupees. What is the fixed component in this total cost? Total cost means it is having both variable cost as well as fixed cost. So total cost at 10,000 units. For making 10,000 units, the total cost is 30,000. Here we got. For making 10,000 units, total cost is 30,000. From this we subtract variable cost. Total cost may say if variable cost ko nikal denge to bachenga fixed cost. Right? So total cost minus variable cost. How many units we are making here? 10,000. And per unit, what is the variable cost we got? 2 rupees. So 10,000 into 2 rupees, 20,000. So 30,000 minus 20,000 fixed component is 10,000. The fixed cost is 10,000 rupees. That's all. Three problems completed. Now fourth problem. Given that fixed cost rupees 7,000, profit 3,000, sales 50,000 find the PV ratio. So whatever is given in the problem, first we write down. First fixed cost is given, F is equal to 7000. Profit is given 3000. Sales are given 50000. Now we need PV ratio. The formula for PV ratio, profit volume ratio. PV ratio stands for profit volume ratio. The formula is C by S into 100. This is a formula already I have given in introduction. In introduction video, I have explained all the formulas in marginal costing. The PV ratio formula C by S into 100. In place of C, in place of C, we can write down S minus V or F plus V. C ke do formulas. One formula is S minus V or another formula of C is F plus V. Now, whichever, whatever information you have, you can apply the formula. In our problem, we are having F and P. We are having F and P. So in place of C, I am writing F plus P. In place of C, I am writing F plus P. Divided by S. So F stands for fixed cost, 7000. P stands for profit, 3000. S stands for sales, 50,000. So 7000 plus 3000, 10,000 by 50,000 into 100. 20% is the P ratio. Profit volume ratio. So we have completed four problems. Now fifth problem. The following figures are extracted from the books of Vijay Irons Limited for the year 1989 and 90 whose capacity is 10,000 irons per year. So capacity is 10,000 irons. Now direct material rupees 3.50 per unit. Direct labor rupees 0 0.50 per unit. 50 paisa per unit. Fixed to overheads rupees 2 per unit and selling price per unit 8 rupees. 
1989-1990 production in units 1989-10,000 so every year 10,000 units are produced that is the maximum capacity sales in units in 1989 8,000 units are sold now see carefully units produced to 10,000 but units sold 8,000 means there is a closing stock in 1989 1989 mein 10,000 units banaye lekin beche kitne 8,000 so 2,000 units are remaining unsold closing stock in 1989 and 1990 the closing stock of 1989 will become opening stock of 1990 so here 2000 units closing stock in 89 that 2000 will become opening stock in 1990 production in 1990 is 10,000 opening stock 2000 and production 10,000 so total number of sold units sold is 12,000 that means there is no closing stock there is no closing stock in 1990 in simple words there is opening stock in 1989 there is uh, no, no opening stock there is closing stock there is closing stock in 1989 and opening stock in 1990 so 1989 mein closing stock hai or 1990 mein opening stock prepare cost statement assuming that company uses marginal costing we have to make a statement of cost and profit assuming that we follow marginal costing technique in marginal costing technique we subtract sales minus variable cost we will get contribution from contribution we subtract to the fixed cost we will get the profit that is marginal costing equation now see here statement of cost and profit 1989-1990 particular sales pilot sales letting you how many units are sold given in the problem in 1989, 8,000 units are sold. In 1990, 12,000 units are sold. So what is the selling price per unit? 8 rupees given in the problem. So we multiply 8,000 units into 8 rupees. 64,000 are the sales for 1989. 1990, 12,000 units are sold. Per unit selling price, 8 rupees. 12,000 into 8, 96,000. So we got the sales of both the years. Now we calculate the manufacturing cost, variable cost. Manufacturing variable cost. So how many units are produced? Production kitna hua hai? It is given 10,000 units are produced in 1989 and 1990. 10,000 units. And each unit requires variable cost. Variable cost consists of two. Direct material, direct labor. It is not specified in the problem, but we know it. Material and labor, these two always are variable cost. Always are variable cost. So 3 rupee 50 paisa per unit is the material, 50 paisa per unit is the labor. So 3.5 plus 0.5, 4 rupees. So 4 rupees per unit is the variable cost. How many units we are making? 10,000. So 10,000 units into 4 rupees, 40,000 rupees is the manufacturing variable cost in this manufacturing variable cost we have taken both material and labor to ma manufacturing variable cost to this we add opening stock and subtract closing stock add the opening stock and subtract the closing stock now see here opening stock is there in 1990 there is no opening stock in 1989 89 ke year mein opening stock nahi hai balke 89 mein closing stock hai to 89 ka closing stock 1990 ka opening stock ho jayega to we have to add opening stock in which year we have opening stock 1990 we have how many units 2000 2000 units how 2000 in 1989 10000 units are produced but 8000 units are sold so 10,000 minus 8,000, 2,000 units are remaining unsold, closing stock. In which year? 89. This 89 closing stock will become 1990's opening stock. So 2,000 units into 4 rupees. 2,000 units into 4 rupees. Per unit variable cost is 4 rupees. So 8,000 rupees is the opening stock. In which year? 1990. 
तो भी एडअप तो फोर्टी थाउजेंड ये फोर्टी थाउजेंड प्लस एट थाउजेंड फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड फ्रॉम दिस वी सब ट्रैक्ट द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक नाउ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज देयर इन नाइनटीन एटी नाइन देर इज नो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इन नाइनटीन 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 में पूरा बेच दिए 1990 में 10,000 यूनिट्स बनाए थे और 2,000 ओपनिंग स्टॉक के थे 2,000 प्लस 10,000 12,000 यूनिट्स आर सोल्ड अवे इन 1990 तो देर इज नो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक तो क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज देर ओनली इन नाइनटीन हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स 2,000 यूनिट्स पर यूनिट फोर रुपीज तो 2,000 इंटू फोर एट थाउजेंड रुपीज द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक नो सब ट्राइट फोर्टी माइनस एट थाउजेंड थर्टी दिस इज द वेरियल कॉस्ट Now contribution sales minus variable cost is the contribution. Sales sixty four thousand variable cost thirty two thousand sixty four minus thirty two thirty two thousand. Similarly sales ninety six thousand variable cost forty eight thousand ninety six minus forty eight forty eight thousand. We got the contribution. From contribution we subtract the fixed cost. The fixed cost per unit two rupees given in the problem. Two rupees per unit is the fixed cost, and the fixed cost will be calculated on the capacity production. The capacity production is ten thousand units. Ten thousand units is the capacity production. So ten thousand into two, twenty thousand is the fixed cost. This will remain same in nineteen eighty nine and nineteen ninety. Subtract thirty two minus twenty twelve thousand profit for nineteen eighty nine. Forty eight minus twenty twenty eight thousand rupees is the Profit of 1990. So we have completed five problems on marginal costing. Come on, now we'll start the next problem, problem number six. See the sixth problem. In a period, a concern produced 2,000 units of particular commodity. The number of units produced, production 2,000 units. The selling price is 50 rupees per unit. The relevant costs are direct material twenty five thousand, direct labor fifteen thousand, direct expenses two thousand. Remember, these are the direct costs: direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. Then production overheads are given variable five thousand, fixed two thousand. Administration overhead variable one thousand, fixed two thousand five hundred. And selling and distribution overhead variable five thousand, fixed eight thousand. So we are given three overheads: production overhead, administration overhead, selling and distribution overhead. And in each overhead, we are given fixed as well as variable. Assuming closing stock of five hundred units, actually number of units produced are two thousand. And in the last line, it is saying there is a closing stock of five hundred units. So out of two thousand units produced, five hundred units are in closing stock. That means fifteen hundred units are sold. Out of two thousand, fifteen hundred units are sold, and remaining five hundred units are in closing stock. Prepare operating statement. Operating statement means cost and profit statement under absorption costing and marginal costing technique. So in this problem, we have to prepare a statement of cost and profit under absorption costing and also under marginal costing remember the profit will be different under the two methods of costing because of valuation of closing stock the closing stock will be calculated on the basis of total cost fixed as well as variable in case of absorption cost whereas in case of marginal costing while calculating the value of closing stock only variable cost is taken fixed cost will not be considered in calculating the value of closing stock so when closing stock values are different according to absorption costing and marginal costing the net profit will also be different so we'll make a statement first statement of cost and profit as per absorption costing method in absorption costing we may we make a cost sheet statement of cost already students might be aware about this statement of cost or cost sheet direct material direct labor direct expenses if you add up material labor direct expense you will get prime cost if you remember the so prime cost add up the three 25000 15000 2000 42000 is the prime cost to prime cost we add factory overhead or production overhead we can call it as factory overhead or we can call it as production overhead 
तो प्रोडक्शन ओवर इट बोथ विल टेक फिक्स्ड एज वेल एज वेरिएबल इन द प्रॉब्लम इट इज गिवन 5000 2000 फिक्स्ड एंड वेरिएबल वी वांट द टोटल टोटल प्रोडक्शन ओवर इट वेदर इट इज फिक्स्ड और वेरिएबल इमटेरियल वी वांट द टोटल तो टोटल प्रोडक्शन ओवर इट 7000 एड अप 42 प्लस 7 49000 वर्क्स कॉस्ट टू वर्क्स कॉस्ट वी ऐड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर इट बोथ फिक्स्ड एज वेल एज वेरिएबल तो एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ओवर फिक्स्ड एंड वेरिएबल कंबाइंड 3500 add up we we'll get cost of production so, to prime cost we add production over it to get works cost to works cost add administration over it you will get cost of production so cost of production is 52500 remember this 52500 is the cost of production for making 2000 units so production kitna hua hai 2000 units so for making 2000 units 52500 is the cost From cost of production, subtract closing stock of finished goods. Closing stock of finished goods को minus करेंगे. कहीं वैसे minus करेंगे cost of production में. तो less closing stock of finished goods. तो how many units? 500 units is the closing stock. For 2000 units, 50 to find it. For 2000 units, the total cost of production 50 to find it. But we need for 500 units how much? For 500 units, how much is the cost? So 52500 into 500 by 2000. 500 by 2000. So 500 units of closing stock. Hey, its value 13125. So 13125 is the closing stock value under absorption costing method. Right? Subtract the cost of goods sold. 39375 is the cost of goods sold. To cost of goods sold, we add selling and distribution over it, both fixed as well as variable. Fixed as well as variable. Both selling and distribution over it, you add up total thirteen thousand. Now you add thirty nine three seventy five plus thirteen thousand. Fifty two thousand three seventy five is the total cost. Total cost. Now how to find out the profit? Sales minus total cost, you will get the profit. Sales minus total cost, you will get the profit. So total cost we got fifty two three seventy five. Sales are given in the problem. The selling price per unit fifty rupees. And how many units are sold away? Fifteen hundred. Because two thousand units are produced out of which five hundred units we are having in closing stock, unsold. So two thousand minus five hundred, fifteen hundred units are sold. So fifteen hundred into fifty seventy five thousand is the sales. Seventy-five thousand sales and fifty-two three seventy-five is the cost. So sales minus cost. Seventy-five thousand minus fifty-two three seventy-five. So balancing figure profit twenty-two thousand six twenty-five. So according to absorption costing method, the profit is twenty-two thousand six twenty-five. That's all. So one statement we have completed. Now we have to make a statement according to marginal costing technique. How to find out the profit under marginal costing technique? See, here. statement of cost and profit as per marginal costing technique. Sales, sales fifteen hundred units are sold each unit fifty rupees. So fifteen hundred into fifteen fifty seventy five thousand seventy five thousand are the sales. From this sales, we subtract variable cost of sales. We want variable cost of sales. Only variable. We should not consider the fixed cost, only variable cost. So here we take variable cost, direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, variable production over it, and variable administration over it. So these are the variable cost of sales. Add up all variable cost of sales, we get forty-eight thousand. Only variable production we have taken. Remember, because according to marginal costing technique, we should consider only variable cost. Fixed cost should not be considered. It will be taken in the last. After getting contribution, we subtract variable cost. We subtract the variable cost, right? So closing stock. Closing stock of finished goods forty-eight thousand into five hundred by two thousand twelve thousand twelve thousand. So forty-eight minus twelve thirty-six thousand. To this we add this forty-eight thousand is the cost of production variable cost for two thousand units. For two thousand units, forty-eight thousand. For five hundred units, how much? So five hundred by two thousand into forty-eight thousand, twelve thousand. You deduct twelve thousand. 
add variable selling remember variable selling and selling and distribution order will not be considered for closing stock of finished goods for calculating closing stock of finished goods we should not consider variable selling and distribution order we should not consider so after deducting closing stock add variable selling and distribution over it then variable cost of sales 41000 contribution sales minus variable cost 75000 minus 41000 75000 minus 41000 34000 is the total contribution less total fixed cost now we consider all the fixed cost fixed production cost fixed administration fixed selling and distribution the total 12500 Direct 12,500, 21,500 is the profit. This is the profit according to marginal costing technique. This is the profit according to absorption costing technique. That's all. So we have completed problem number six. Now problem number seven. Compute break-even point from the following figures. Sales are given three lakh. Fixed expenses are given seventy-five thousand. Now direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. If you add up direct material, direct labor, direct expenses, you'll get 2 lakh rupees and this 2 lakh rupees are the variable cost. Direct material, direct labor, direct expense always will be equal to variable cost. So we are given sales, fixed cost and variable cost. BP formula. One formula I have already given in the introduction theory video regarding the formula for BP. One formula is F into S by S minus V. F into S by S minus V. Fixed cost is 75,000, sales 3 lakh. So 75,000 into 3 lakh divided by sales 3 lakh minus variable cost 2 lakh. This is the variable cost. First, you detect in denominator 3 lakh minus 2 lakh, 1 lakh. Numerator 75,000 into 3 lakh. Now, this 5 zeros and this 5 zeros will get cancelled. So remaining 75,000 into 3, 2 lakh 25,000 is the BEP, break even point. Next. Eighth problem. Sales. A company's turnover in a year is 50 lakh. Turnover ka matlab hota hai sales. So sales 50 lakh. The profit is 5 lakh rupees. And PV ratio is 40%. Given in the problem. Find out the BEP. It is asking you to calculate the break even point. So first of all, BEP. For calculating BEP, we require fixed cost. Fixed cost is not given in the problem. So first, we need fixed cost. So by using PV ratio formula. PV ratio formula C by S. If you multiply by 100, C by S into 100, then you take it 40 here. If you multiply by 100, you take it 40. If you don't multiply by 100, 0 0.4, 40%. 40% ka matlab hota hai 0 0.4. We can write 40% or we can write 0 0.4. Means same. Means same. So, uh, PV ratio for 0.4 is equal to C by S contribution. So, cross multiply karenge, C is equal to 50 lakh into 0.4, 20 lakh. So, contribution 20 lakh. Contribution 20 lakh. We have one formula C is equal to F plus P. In place of C, 20 lakh. Fixed cost, profit is 5 lakh. Bring 5 lakh to LHS. 20 minus 5 is equal to fixed. Fixed cost is 15 lakh. BP fixed cost by PV ratio. 15 lakh by 0.4. 37 lakh. 50,000. 37,50,000 is the uh, BB. Next, ninth problem. Calculate break even point from the following particulars. Fixed cost 3 lakh, selling price per unit 21, variable cost per unit 16. BEP in units. The formula for BEP in units is fixed cost divided by SP minus VC. 3 lakh fixed cost divided by 21 minus 16. 60,000 units is the BEP. 60,000 units. Now, if you want in rupees, so BP in rupees is equal to BP in units into SP per unit. So 60,000 units into 21, 12 lakh 60,000 rupees is the B. So we have completed nine problems on marginal costing. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share it in your group, subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Continue, we will continue this in the next video, the next.